Welcome. Today we delve into Al-Farabi's life, a polymath of the Islamic Golden Age, dubbed the Second Teacher, bridging diverse worlds of knowledge. Let's explore his journey. Diving right into the Islamic Golden Age, meet Al-Farabi, the polymath who specialized in philosophy, music, and science. He is a central figure, noted for merging ancient Grecian thought with Islamic wisdom, thereby forming a bridge between Greek philosophers and the Arabian intellectuals. This captivating scholar, often titled the second teacher due to his profound Aristotelian commentaries, is our focus for today. Not only did he illuminate the works of Aristotle, but his treatise, al Medina al-Fadila, shed light on his vision of the ideal society, one led by reason and virtue. Al-Farabi's expertise encompassed not only philosophy but extended into the realms of music and science. His intriguing ideas in the field of epistemology and logic demonstrated a seamless blend of Aristotelian theories and Islamic insights. Mull over his widespread influence on figures like Avicenna and on the development of medieval European music theory. These diverse impacts, from philosophy to music, make Al-Farabi truly act as a bridge between worlds. This man's life and work continue to inspire thinkers worldwide, and by traversing this bridge, we too can partake in Al-Farabi's enriched intellectual legacy. In 872, our polymath Al-Farabi was born in the bustling city of Farab, an enlightening hub in the culturally vibrant Samanid Empire. This empire was a canvas showcasing the vivid hues of Persian cultural revival where the advancement of science and arts held paramount importance. Immerse yourself in the intellectually stimulating atmosphere of Farab, thriving with scholarly debates backed by a robust patronage system, encouraging the insatiable curiosity of minds like Al-Farabi. Imagination then takes us to Al-Farabi's fascinating intellectual journey. Picture him intricately blending the principles of logic with the melodies of music, giving birth to his holistic worldview. Enriching the tapestry of his knowledge were influences from Greek philosophy, Persian teachings, and Islamic doctrines, creating an intellectual mosaic unique to Al-Farabi. Mentorship circles, a vital part of learning then, were Al-Farabi's crucible, refining his polymath skills. The versatile influences and robust foundations made Al-Farabi an epitome of a true polymath, an intellectual beacon shrouded in assorted disciplines, serving generations of scholars like a beacon of profound wisdom. Al-Farabi, born in 872 AD, was enthralled by the intellectual wonders of Baghdad. Known as the epicenter of knowledge in the Islamic world, this vibrant city wove together cultures, offered abundant scholarly texts, and sparked the young polymath's logic-laden interests. Al-Farabi immersed himself in varied fields of study, from mathematics and astronomy to logic. Influence from Baghdad's leading scholars played a crucial role in shaping Al-Farabi's intellectual development, turning him into an adept learner and thinker. Let's imagine him poring over rare, enriching manuscripts in the city's libraries, his eyes wide with fascination. These libraries served as fertile grounds for Al-Farabi's research and scholarship, offering an exceptional array of learning materials that expanded his analytical outlook. The intellectual landscape of Baghdad, its scholars, texts, and libraries fueled Al-Farabi's academic pursuits and shaped his intellectual sojourn, making it a cornerstone of his life's journey. Al-Farabi's keen intellect harmonized Greek and Islamic philosophies in revolutionary ways taking the logical principles of Aristotle and the idealistic visions of Plato, he wove these threads with the socio-ethical fabric of Islam. His discussion on the existence and attributes of God through metaphysics threw light on abstract theological concepts in a practical, rational manner, a major contribution of Al-Farabi that continues to reverberate in scholarly circles. Now let's turn our attention to his work, Kitab al-Huruf. In it, Al-Farabi expressed divine oneness symbolically as A or Alif. This might seem simple, but has profound implications. This bridging of language and philosophy is a testament to his innovative thinking. Al-Farabi's ability to consolidate Greek and Islamic thought altered the course of Islamic intellectual history, paving way for thinkers like Avicenna. Reflecting on Al-Farabi's times and surroundings, his philosophical synthesis serves as an inspiring lesson in thinking beyond dichotomies, seeking harmony in diversity, and making insightful contributions to intellectual heritage. The virtuous city, 
is Al-Farabi's imaginative fusion of Greek philosophy and Islamic ideals. Guided by a philosopher king, the society radiates the virtues of wisdom, courage, and temperance, forging a path towards harmony and enlightenment. Distinctly, it was Al-Farabi's genuine wish to sculpt a society flourishing with virtue, an exemplification of his thought challenging the boundaries between theory and reality, ideals and practicality. Now, marvel at Al-Farabi's living legacy. His notions of virtuous governance deeply influenced towering philosophers like Avicenna and Averroes. Further, his idea of a philosopher king blossomed in the rule of the Fatimid Caliphate, echoing his vision into actual leadership. Ponder how Al-Farabi's emphasis on ethical leadership eventually contributed to the principles of modern democracy. His intellectual footprint is etched across time, inspiring generations to ponder the dynamics of governance and ethics. Thus, Al-Farabi's virtuous city is not a distant utopia, but an enduring legacy, shaping the contour of philosophical and political landscapes, mirroring his profound and timeless wisdom. The depth of Al-Farabi's work lies not only in his philosophical explorations, but also in his revolutionary interpretations of music and its ethical influence in society. He professed music's potential beyond oral entertainment. For him, music could nurture virtues, frame our ethical choices, and even influence societal harmony. He went as far as attributing ethical tones to musical scales, an understanding profoundly ahead of its time. Blessing the world with his revolutionary treatise, Kitab al-Musika, Al-Farabi choreographs an extraordinary concerto between music, mathematics, and philosophy. He emphasized how the dimensions of music were steeped in performance, attentive listening, and cohesive composition. Echoing the principles of Pythagoras, he proposed Pythagorean tuning as a harmonious medium of crafting tunes. This vision is a testament to his vital contributions to the development of music theory, sketching a rhythmic interconnectedness across disciplines. The timelessness of Al-Farabi's theories transcends the centuries, finding resonance in contemporary views on music's emotional and ethical impact. His works continue to play the tunes of wisdom and innovation, inspiring further exploration in music and philosophy. As we delve into the beautiful mind of Al-Farabi, let's attune ourselves to the harmonious symphony of his knowledge, insights, and legacy. Al-Farabi's intellectual journey unfurls like an elaborate map of Greece meeting Islam. Intuitively understanding the importance Aristotle's organon held for logical thought processes, he translated this central text into Arabic. Its significance cannot be overstated. For the first time, Islamic scholars had access to Aristotelian logic in their mother tongue. This titanic task was not all Al-Farabi did. He enriched it with his own thoughts, thereby laying the groundwork for Islamic rationalism. Taking a step forward into the realm of education, Al-Farabi painted a detailed picture of the human intellect. He distinguished potential from active intellect, the latent ability to learn from visible mental agility. Further diving into the organizational structure of knowledge, he parted it into theoretical and practical pools, his profound understanding paving the path for comprehensive learning frameworks. His teaching strategies were distinct, explaining complicated concepts through analogy and deduction. He emphasized teaching that strengthens the mind's reasoning abilities. Al-Farabi's unswerving dedication to logic and education gave us intellectually stimulating methodologies that remain relevant, serving as a guiding light for centuries. From the vibrant city-states of Central Asia to the intellectual hub of Baghdad, Al-Farabi's tireless quest for knowledge took him across diverse geographies. It is during these sojourns that Al-Farabi exchanged ideas with scholars of diverse faiths, honing his philosophical genius. Imagine him, engaging with thinkers from a myriad of cultures, his mind like a bee, gathering nectar from various intellectual lands and churning it into the profound honey of his philosophy. His life in Aleppo showcases how political harmony and patronage foster scholarship. Ensconced in the court of Saif al-Dawla, he enjoyed the tranquility and freedom to explore diverse domains, free from unrest or instability. This supportive environment played an instrumental role in crafting his rich intellectual portfolio. Reflecting Al-Farabi's greatness, his ideas transcended boundaries, resonating through time and space. Scholars from across regions adopted or adapted Al-Farabi's concepts, 
reinforcing the narrative of intellectual exchange. An inspiring example is his fascinating interpretation of Plato's virtuous city, which deeply influenced thinkers such as Avicenna and rulers of the Fatimid Caliphate. An envoy of wisdom, Al-Farabi, through his travels and teachings, kindled the beacon of knowledge, enlightening the corridors of philosophy, music, and science. Truly, his journey was not just geographic, but a transformative odyssey through intellectual, spiritual, and cultural landscapes. As Al-Farabi breathed his last around 950 AD, he left behind an indelible intellectual legacy. His seminal role in linking Greek and Islamic philosophy redefined the academic discourse of the Islamic Golden Age. Scholars such as Avicenna and Averroes drew greatly from his work, illustrating the profound reach of Al-Farabi's influence on subsequent thought. Notably, his corpus was translated into Latin, spreading his ideas beyond the Islamic world and inspiring European intellectual titan Thomas Aquinas. But Al-Farabi's contributions were not limited to philosophy. With Kitab al-Musika, he pioneered an innovative amalgamation of music theory and philosophy, a testament to his inventive thinking. His vision of a virtuous city, led by reason, was not confined to lofty philosophical debates, but influenced practical ethical and political discourse, from Avicenna to Enlightenment thinkers. Consequently, the ripples of Al-Farabi's intellectual tremors were felt across time and cultures. His death may have marked the end of an era, but his thoughts, ideas, and theories live on, reinforcing the global relevance of his timeless wisdom. The story of Al-Farabi is a testament to the enduring power of a curious, innovative mind that continues to shape philosophical and scientific thought. Al-Farabi has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of human knowledge. Showcasing the essence of a polymath, he painted with a palette that richly represented philosophy, music, logic, all seamlessly intertwined. The virtuous city, his brainchild, married the celestial ideals of Plato's Republic with Islamic ethical traditions, catering to the dual appetite for Hellenistic knowledge and Islamic wisdom. His legacy converses with generations long after him, seen vividly in Avicenna's versions of Emanation and Averroes' Aristotle commentaries. Parsing through his Kitab al-Musika, we uncover a symphony connecting music to the soul and cosmos. These ripples are not confined to his era, they cascade across centuries, making his insights deeply relevant to musicians and philosophers alike. A powerful emblem of cultural synthesis, Al-Farabi teased out resonances between the intellectual traditions of Greece and Islam, the twin pillars of his erudition. His role as cultural translator cannot be overstated as he amplified the brilliance of ancient thought among Islamic intellectuals while preserving its essence. As we journey through Al-Farabi's life, we witness an inspiring reconciliation of two worlds, underlining his role as a luminary that bridges civilizations and disciplines.